Peppa Pig Tales. <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blub, blub, blub. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. <gasps> Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, okay. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Peppa Pig Tales! Whoops! <gasps> and her friends are going to watch the football match today. Oh dear! The cake is squashed. Oh no! My trophy cake! I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's okay. We'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on then. To the supermarket! <laughs> All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! Yay! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. Whee! And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go! Let's go! Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. Well done. Pop it in the basket. I can save three shots at once. Ha! Ah. We'll need three. 
three sponge cakes, Peppa. Whoa! Phew! Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. <laughs> How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? We made a new cake! Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start! Hooray! Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel! Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> there. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh, D. 
idea. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Ruff, ruff. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Ah, too high, too high. Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh. Whee! Do a loop de loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well... I suppose that might keep my mind off things. And so Pepper, George and Madame Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! The attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee!
Already? But I was having fun. That wasn't scary at all. I told you, flying is really fun. Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh dear. Pepper likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <laughs> Your shoelace is undone. You're not smiling. Ah. Oh! You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Pepper is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. <gasps> oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh! Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof! Can we have a go now? I want to kick. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's okay, Daddy. But I think it's your turn to referee now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 phew! Is it Halloween again? I'm going to be a wizard. <sighs> I'm going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Cornucopy what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to oh. make one of our own. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Fresh fruits and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup <laughs> is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. I'm 
going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. Oh, maybe just one bite. <gasps> Ooh, the wrapper is the best part anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time, and Peppa is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh, but your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. <laughs> Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Pepper. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute, Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. It's bonfire night, and Peppa is very excited. She thinks bonfires are lovely to look at. Wow! Woof. Hi, Peppa! You're just in time! The fireworks will begin in five, four, three, two, one. The fireworks are going so high. Whoa. Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa. Oh, dear. Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We 
we're going to the back where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. Excuse me, please. Us again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Bigger? Does that mean louder? <laughs> oh, my. What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. Well, I know. Ah. Oh. Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes. Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow! That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Pepper. We can't hear the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> snow day. Let's go. Peppa is Whoa. very excited to play in the snow today. Yay! Let's go. But Candy doesn't look very happy. Meow! Ooh, it's so cold. <laughs> snow is always cold. That's part of the fun. I didn't think it'd be this cold. Can we play inside in the warm? Oh, but I want to play in the snow. Peppa and Candy mm. don't know what to do. I know. Why don't we do one snow game and one inside game? And we see which is best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Pepper and Candy are making a snowman. It's very tall. That was fun. Hmm. Just need a nice woolly hat. <gasps> Whoa! Uh... Meow! I think we should go inside and get warm now. Mm. Pepper and Candy have made a pillow fort. It is very cosy and warm. There! All finished. It's perfect. This was a fun idea. Phew! It's very warm in here. Why don't we try something in the snow to cool down? Pepper and Candy spend the day playing lots of different games. <laughs> they go sledding outside. Whee! <gasps> oh. <gasps> they drink delicious hot chocolate. and make lovely snow angels. <laughs> they even race around indoors. <laughs> and outdoors. But they can't agree what is best. We've tried everything. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Candy. Why the sad faces? We can't find something to do that is fun in the warm and in the cold. That is difficult. Oh, how about some delicious fruity snow cones? <gasps> They're made of nice cold snow wow. and perfect to be enjoyed in the warm inside. <laughs> Mmm, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Wow, thank you. 
Peppa and Candy both agree that this is best. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's... Cold! <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort is isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. <laughs> Granny Pig! Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to pick some vegetables from the garden for lunch? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Peppa, George. This is Grandpa Pig's vegetable garden. He has grown all these vegetables himself. Grrr. What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho. Let's chew some vegetables for lunch. <laughs> Pepper, do you like tomatoes? Yes, Grandpa Pig. George, do you like tomatoes? No. George does not like tomatoes. Oh, dear. Do you both like lettuce? Yes, Grandpa Pig. No. George does not like lettuce. Oh, dear. I must have something that George likes. Do you like cucumber? Yuck. George does not like cucumbers. And he does not like lettuce. And he does not like tomatoes. Well, George, what vegetable do you like? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Silly George. Chocolate cake isn't a vegetable. 
Maybe George will like the vegetables when they're made into a lovely salad. <laughs> oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George help <laughs> Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George... This is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> <coughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> <laughs> I love camping. We're here! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, this is the tent I had when I was a little boy. Daddy, how are you going to make that into a tent? Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at camping. <laughs> Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Ooh. Do these pegs do anything? Of course. I forgot about the pegs. The pegs hold the tent up. There. The tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy. But it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. <laughs> First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy? How can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way, by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah... Listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. 
Wow! And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. <laughs> oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, children, into the tent. It's bedtime. We won't all fit in. The tent is too little. It will be fine. In you go. Move further in, Mummy Pig. Daddy, you're too big for the tent. Never mind. I'd rather sleep outside anyway. Good night, Daddy Pig. Good night, Daddy. Night, night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are sleeping in the tent. Daddy Pig is sleeping outside, under the stars. Ah, I love camping. Sleeping in the open air with the stars above me. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. It is morning. Daddy, it was lovely and cosy in the tent. Oh, where's Daddy? Daddy Pig has gone. Poor Daddy Pig. He must have been cold and wet. And now where is he? What's that sound? It sounds like snoring. <laughs> Daddy Pig! What? Daddy, you're safe! <laughs> of course I'm safe. I'm an expert at camping. I slept in the car. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I love camping. <laughs> Night time. Pepper and George are going to bed. <laughs> Good night, Pepper and George. Bobby, Daddy. Yes, Pepper. I'm not sleepy. Could I have a story? But maybe George is sleepy and doesn't want a story. George, do you want a story? Say yes. <laughs> All right, I will tell you just one story. If Daddy Pig tells you a story, you must both promise to go to sleep. We promise. Hmm. I think I'll tell you the story of the Sleepy Princess. Is it a good story? It sounds a bit boring. It's not boring. It's very good. Is there a little princess in it? Pepper, if you keep talking, Daddy Pig can't start the story. Sorry, Mummy. Is there a little princess in the story, Daddy? Oh, oh, yes, there is a little princess in it. <coughs> hmm, the sleepy princess. Once upon a time, in a castle, there lived a little princess. And she was called the sleepy princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the sleepy princess pretty? Yes. She was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. I am so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome, like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. <laughs> Oh dear, maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> 
Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the Sleepy Princess. Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. But somebody is. George, wake up. You'll miss the end of the story. Well, Peppa might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. Good night. The sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for that story, King Daddy. You're welcome, Queen Mummy. And our little prince and princess enjoyed it too. George are visiting Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. My little ones, before you come in the house, you must take off your muddy boots. Yes, Granny. <laughs> Peppa, George, look what I've made. Little curtains. Ooh. What are the little curtains for, Granny? It's a surprise. Do you want to see what Grandpa Pig has made for you in the garden? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Pepper, George. Look what I've made for you. A tree house. A tree house? For George and me? <laughs> <laughs> and the little curtains are for your tree house. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love their tree house. Thank you, Granny Pig. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Who wants to go inside first? Me, me. In you go, then. Before I go in my treehouse, I must take off my muddy boots. I'm in my treehouse. I'm in my treehouse. <laughs> George, would you like to go in the treehouse, too? Yes? Who is it? A young pig named George would like to pay a visit. Can he come in? As long as he takes off his muddy boots. George, take your boots off, then you can visit Pepper in the treehouse. <laughs> Who is it? George? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? Hmm. You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are Daddy's big tummy. I see. <laughs> <laughs> say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have... Different secret words, please. No! <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> That's right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. 
Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Pepper. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> Granny Pig! Here are my homemade cookies. But if you want to come in, you have to say the secret words. That's easy. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think that those are very silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are having a fancy dress party. All their friends are invited. Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shovel me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And what are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Papa. Nay. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror of the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> you are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <Grrr. gasps> oh dear, George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me. <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge, I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody. Peppa is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. Now, Danny? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> now, Candy? Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. <laughs> Children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. Everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> Now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... me. Oh. <gasps> Pepper, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh. 
Can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> Peppa loves fancy dress parties. Everyone loves fancy dress parties. <laughs> Bing to the museum. <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. Wow! Dinosaur? But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Peppa, this is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. What did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Peppa imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Peppa? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your Daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh, dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, 
The puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. Yuck! So oily and yucky. Yuck! Oh, <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Pepper and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy, can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. What ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. The same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh, dear. George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> It is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! What happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we dip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> look, the puddles are back. Quick, George, let's get our boots. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. <laughs> Pepper and George love the hot day, but most of all, they love jumping up and down in puddles. Holly are visiting Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig and Cousin Chloe. I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother. Especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. <laughs> uh, Peppa, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Big Brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Peppa and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. 
I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Peak. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is my daddy. Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK. A scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time, everyone. Coming. After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> this spaghetti is delicious. <laughs> Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. What do you mean? <laughs> we are completely different. <laughs> Pepper, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic. Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> The puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Grrr. Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek! <laughs> oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Oh, ho! Oh, I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. Today, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is watching a Keep Fit program on television. And four and come on now, that's right. Bend it, stretch it, bend it, stretch it. Ah, I love watching telly. What's this, Mummy Pig? It's a program about doing exercises to keep fit. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to exercise. I'm naturally fit. You don't look very fit, Daddy. Your tummy is a bit big. I'm very fit. I'll show you. What shall I do first? Touch your toes like this. Easy. Daddy, stop pretending that you can't touch your toes. Uh, I'm not pretending, Pepper. Daddy Pig really cannot touch his toes. Oh, dear, Daddy. That's not very good. Hmm. Maybe I should do a bit of exercise. Yes, Daddy. And I will start tomorrow. Daddy Pig, you have to start exercising now. Oh. Don't worry, Daddy. I will help you. Oh, all right. Peppa, you're in charge of getting me fit. What should I do first? First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One. <laughs> two. There. Very good, Daddy. Now I want you to do 100. 100? Yes. 
Come on, children, help me make lunch. I'll help as well. No, Daddy. You've got 100 press-ups to do. Oh. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> three. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are in the five, kitchen making lunch. Six. Daddy Pig is seven, still doing his press-ups. Daddy is doing very nine, well. Ten. Yes. Eleven, I do hope he's not overdoing 12, it. I'll go and see. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Daddy Pig! You're cheating! You should be doing press-ups. Oh. Uh, there was something interesting on the TV. Naughty Daddy. Maybe Daddy will have more success with my old exercise bike. Aha! This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. <laughs> it's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. I know. You can use my bicycle. Yes, and then you'll get some fresh air as well. Daddy Pig is going to ride on Peppa's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals, these are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa, I know. Bye-bye. Easy as pie. Getting fit is quite hard work. <sighs> <laughs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Help! Ah! <laughs> Daddy Pig has been gone for a long time. Mummy, where can Daddy be? Don't worry, Peppa. Daddy must be really enjoying himself to be away for so long. <laughs> Daddy! Where have you been? I whizzed all the way down the hill. Then I had to push the bike all the way back up again. Oh, poor Daddy Pig. Well, at least I've done my exercise. Yes, for today. What do you mean? You'll have to do some more exercise tomorrow. What? Daddy, to get fit, you have to exercise every day. Oh, no. But don't worry, Daddy. I'll make sure you do it. Yes, I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are in their bedroom, playing with their toys. George, let's play dollies and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It looks like a horrible monster. Dinosaur. <laughs> ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> Daddy Pig is in the sitting room reading his newspaper. Mummy Pig is reading her book. What are they doing? Ah, help! Help! <laughs> Peppa! George! What's going on? <laughs> what's all this noise? Whoa! Help! Oh! oh. What on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy.
Teddy! I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now the books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> well done, George. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Daddy! George, you've stopped tidying up. You'll lose the race. <laughs> oh, yes, the race. Come on, George, put this back on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy, you're very slow at tidying up. Mummy and I are going to win. No, we're going to win. <laughs> we win. No, we win. <laughs> we all win. Look how tidy the room is. Hooray! What a tidy room. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Mummy, now that we've tidied our room, can we play dollies and dinosaurs again? Yes, you can carry on with your game now. Yippee! Where are my dolls? Where is Mr. Dinosaur? <laughs> Here they are. Grrr. Dinosaur. Ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! Oh dear, the room is untidy again. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it was tidy for a bit. <laughs> Pepper and George are at the playground with their friends. <laughs> Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are on the climbing frame. Nay. Meow. Whee! Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, and Rebecca Whee! Rabbit are playing on the slide. Whee! Nay. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Pepper is playing on the swing. Mummy, mummy, push me, please. Are you ready? Yes, I want to go really high. Whee! <laughs> Hiya, Mummy! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George wants to play on the swing. Now it's your turn, George. <laughs> Hold tight. I want to push George. Push George gently, Peppa. Yes, Mummy. Hold tight, George. <laughs> Whee! <gasps> Oh dear, Pepper has pushed George too high. George does not like being up high. Pepper, you know George is a bit scared of heights. Sorry, George. <laughs> Let's play on the climbing frame. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Danny. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You were doing it all wrong. This is the proper way to swing across. Stand back. Ready, steady, go! Whee! Look at me! I'm flying like a bird. <laughs> oh, I can't get out. Peppa is stuck in the tyre. <laughs> 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 it's not funny. Well, it does look a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to pull you out. <laughs> Pepper's friends are helping to free her. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you, everyone. <laughs> George, do you want to play on the climbing frame? <laughs> the climbing frame is quite high. George does not like being up high. Sorry, George. Let's play on the slide. Yes, the slide. 
slide. <laughs> Peppa loves the slide. Everyone loves the slide. Mummy, Daddy, look at me. Ready, steady, go. Wee. <laughs> George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. <coughs> All right, I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. <coughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, you're too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Pepper. I'm not too big. <coughs> Stand back. Ready? Steady, go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. <laughs> it's not funny. It looks very funny, Daddy. Mm. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to push you down. <laughs> Daddy's tummy is just like a bouncy castle. <laughs> George loves bouncing on Daddy's tummy. George isn't afraid of heights anymore. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a new picture of Pepper and George. We should put this lovely new picture on the wall. Leave it to me. I am the DIY expert of the house. Are you sure you can do it? Of course. I'll just put a nail in the wall and hang the picture on it. Very good. I'm just off to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. I'll see you later. And please don't make a mess. Mess? <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Daddy, can we help put up the picture? You can watch, and then you'll learn how to do it properly. First, I need a tape measure. And a pencil. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> now I need a hammer and a nail. Stand back, children, and watch a craftsman at work. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Pepper. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! Oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> Quick, George! <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you! <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> this is pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> But look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. 
We had better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. There. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Pepper, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm going to the beach. Pepper and George love going to the beach. <laughs> What a lot of stuff. We must be careful not to forget anything when we go. <laughs> Sunshade, beach bag, towels, buckets and spades, and a spotty ball. Good. Now, before you start playing, you need some sun cream on. The sun is very hot, so Pepper and George have to have sun cream on. Let's try out this spotty ball. It seems to work. <laughs> what a great spotty ball. <laughs> George, you throw the ball and I will catch it. <laughs> George, catch! Oh dear, George is too little to catch the ball. <laughs> Never mind, George. Would you and Pepper like to have a paddle in the sea? Yes, please, Daddy. <laughs> Let's put your water wings on. There we go. You look very smart in your water wings, George. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Good. <laughs> now we can play in the water. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. Steady <laughs> 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 <Did he> on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels, beach bag, sunshade and the spotty ball. That's everything. 
I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. <laughs> Daddy! We forgot Daddy! Oh, yes! We forgot Daddy Pig. Uh, uh, what? Daddy, we almost left you behind. But George remembered you. <laughs> well, I'm glad George remembered me. <laughs> Peppa is playing with her doll's house. George is playing too. <laughs> Peppa is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> children? It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. <laughs> George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George. You can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. <laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Peppa loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <coughs> help! Help! Daddy! There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Peppa feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Peppa and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <coughs> Are you hungry, Mr Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr Skinny Legs. <coughs> Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <coughs> Delicious. Peppa loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Peppa. Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no, of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> Peppa likes Mr Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr Skinny Legs. Peppa and George out for a day on the river. 
Welcome aboard, me hearties. Peppa, George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Peppa and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full sail. <laughs> Maybe you should go a little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when you went fast. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll go fast later. Look, there's another boat. Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket any day, Grandpa Pig. All right, you old sea dog. Race you. Prepare to lose, water hog. You two are acting like little children. <laughs> Granddad Dog called me a water hog. You called him a sea dog first, Grandpa. You should say sorry. Only if he says sorry first. Granddad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. He's your best friend. No, he's a water hog, and my boat is faster than his. All right, sea dog. Let's race to the next bridge. On the count of three. One. Two. Go! You started to soar. Catch me if you can, water hog. <laughs> sea dog. Is that as fast as you can go? Can't catch me. <laughs> I win. Oh dear, Grandpa Pig's boat has run out of petrol. Very clever, Captain Grandpa. Maybe I did go a bit too fast. How will we get home? Look, there's Grandad Dog. <laughs> Grandad Dog can tow us home. I'm not being towed by that sea dog. I haven't offered to tow the water hog. <sighs> will you two ever grow up? Grandpa, say sorry to Grandad Dog. I'm... Sorry I called you a sea dog. Grandad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. I'm sorry I called you a water hog. That's nice. Grandad Dog, would you be so kind as to tow us home? It would be my pleasure, madame. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> And our dog is towing Grandpa Pig's boat home. The main thing is, I won the race. Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Naughty Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Peppa and George are going shopping. <laughs> Peppa and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. <laughs> so does Pepper. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Pepper. Oh. <laughs> but you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody! <laughs> We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> <laughs> This way! 
Peppa and George love shopping. <laughs> Peppa, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Peppa. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Peppa. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Peppa and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Peppa. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Peppa? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Peppa. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Onions. Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? A melon! <laughs> 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 this is the checkout where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake. Chocolate, chocolate cake. cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George? Did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Um, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Birthday. It is very early in the morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up. It's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <laughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up! It's my birthday! Wake up! Oof. Oof. <gasps> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Pepper her birthday present. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Pepper. Pepper! Ooh! What is it? <coughs> A doll's dress! I can put it on Teddy! Thank you, everyone! You're welcome, Pepper. <coughs> I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy! Of course Teddy's a girl. <coughs> I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> You're welcome.
back on Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Peppa? Yes! My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy's doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Nay. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy! Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra! <gasps> wow! It's Daddy! For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me! 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 me. <laughs> I just need one. Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra, blue. No. Abracadabra, red. Yes, it is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words, abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> Hooray! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Pepper. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> The postman is delivering a parcel to Peppa's house. Parcel for you, Mr Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur! Oh, George, <laughs> you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> The parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm. I think it's a... Uh, a new toy. You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing... Now it won't talk anymore. Well done, Peppa. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Peppa. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. 
Again, again. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should film something new. I know. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way. Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Pepper and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> but we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Oh dear, George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> Art's in the play. They have to practice at home. <laughs> Peppa is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Peppa practice. OK, Peppa. What do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um... I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa! Danny Dog is going to play the big bad wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. I'm the big bad wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the big bad wolf. I'm going to eat you all up! <laughs> you see? Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay. You say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. <laughs> Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? <laughs> On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! 
Um... Oh dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help! Oh, help! Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> I saved you, Grandma. Hooray! <clears throat> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! Pedro, you were very good. <laughs> you are almost as good as me. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking the family for a drive in the country. Come on. Is everybody ready? <laughs> ready. Yes, Daddy Pig, we're ready. <gasps> but the car isn't ready. Look how messy it is. Oh, it's not too bad. You should see how messy it is inside. <laughs> <gasps> Naughty, messy daddy. <laughs> Naughty, messy daddy. <laughs> Look at all this rubbish. Newspapers. They're mine. Sweets. They're mine. Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grrr. We must clean the car before we go for a drive. Oh, right you are, Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we help to clean the car? <laughs> yes, if you want to. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig has some warm, soapy water to wash the car. <laughs> Daddy Pig is washing the roof. <laughs> Mummy Pig is washing the bonnet. <laughs> Pepper is washing the doors. <laughs> George wants to wash the windows. <laughs> But he is too little. <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. <laughs> George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear, Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? Ah! <laughs> oh, Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> oh, don't! Oh! Daddy Pig, please turn off the water. Oh! <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. 
<laughs> what a funny face. <laughs> oh, more funny faces. <laughs> it's Pepper and George. <laughs> and Mummy Pig. What a lovely, shiny car. Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive today. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Then let's go! I hope you will all keep this car clean today. Yes, Mummy Pig. Yes, Mummy Pig. Ah! <laughs> Mummy, now you've made the car all muddy again. <laughs> Naughty Mummy. <laughs> Naughty, messy mummy. <laughs> 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 